Well, God bless you. Jerome Baker coming to you with another quick video. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Before I get into today's video, I want to let those who may be visiting for the first time know that I've been in youth ministry for over 20 years, uh, youth and young adult ministry under the same pastor, my dynamic pastor, Bishop Barry Walker. And I'm all about trying to help youth and young adults and families to be more productive in every aspect of life. And so I recently started this channel to not only to do that, but to also keep our young people and parents and grandparents informed about what's going on concerning our young people. There, there are just a lot of things that's taking place, a lot of things on social media. Our kids have a lot of access to various things. And so we need to be in the know so our kids are not messed up in the head. Their spirits aren't messed up. In fact, I want to look at a Bible verse right here on today. And I want to show you what God's word says uh, as it pertains to making sure we're in the know when it comes to what's going on with our youth and young adults. The Bible says in Proverbs 29, 15, the rod and rebuke give wisdom, but a child notice left to himself brings shame to his mother. And so we don't want our young people to come to shame. We don't want our young people uh, to make decisions that they will regret. So I believe as youth leaders and parents, uh, we have to, again, make sure we know what's going on because there's so much can, that can distract our young people from having a solid relationship with Jesus Christ, as well as from being productive in every aspect of their life. So on today, I want to discuss and let some parents know and others that may not know about the most popular app right now, not just in our country, but in the world. Yes, this app is more popular than Facebook, more popular than Instagram and Twitter. Those are usually the top three, but this app has been downloaded over 1.8 billion times in the last year or so. Um, it's not, it's fairly new. It used to go under another name, Musical.ly, I believe, uh, and they changed their name about three years ago. And so it was an app where people could share uh, music, their favorite songs. And so it was bought out and they merged with another company and changed the name and called it TikTok. And it has just flooded not only America, but the entire world. Celebrities are on there. Everybody, any and everybody is on TikTok. And I've known about it, but I didn't really give it any attention. But here recently, I have not only been seeing more about TikTok in the media, but I've actually had parents coming to me about concerns when it comes to their children and TikTok. And so a lot of times uh, over the past few years, Instagram, which is still popular, and Snapchat, those are uh, social media apps that, that, that young people are into. Uh, and we, if, if need be, I'll do videos on those if you have no idea what Instagram and Snapchat is. But TikTok is where it's at right now. Uh, again, not only celebrities are on there, uh, politicians are on there. Uh, kids down the street, grandparents on TikTok. And so it is it is uh, the hottest trend that's going on right now. Uh, and I want to tell you a little bit about it because like anything, it can be used for good as well as evil. I guarantee you, if you go grab your child's phone, here's the logo right here, TikTok. And uh, you can download it and anyone use it. And it's it's usually used for entertainment purposes. And I've got to be honest on TikTok, there are some funny things. I mean, people crazy and you can tell that the Bible is right. The Bible talks about how the only thing in the world is the lust of the eye and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And man, you can see it with these apps because people are whipping out their phones, recording them, doing anything, everything just to get some views as well as to entertain people. And so on TikTok, you, you'll find videos, people dancing uh, to, to their favorite music and sharing it. You'll have videos like this. I'm not going to do the volume, but uh, because there's a lot of vulgarity on there. You have people on here 
shake dance. And I mean, look, <laughs> look at this foolishness. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff on TikTok. But like I said earlier, kids can be exposed to some things that they're not ready to handle. Just like Instagram, just like other social media platforms, they have instant access to pornography, instant access to nudity, instant access to lewdness. It's all on TikTok. As I said earlier, I had one particular parent, uh, their, their child had took their phone and accessed TikTok without them knowing about it and was just constantly uploading videos and they were just so concerned about what their child was doing. Uh, so as parents, you need to make sure that you're asking your kids, what are you watching on TikTok? It has an algorithm that if they watch certain types of videos, then TikTok is going to learn what they like. And so what it will do is it will put those videos before them because it has learned this is what they're like. This is what they like. So if that child has started to get curious about pornography, homosexuality or what have you, and they're watching these videos, it's going to keep feeding it to them. And so TikTok, notice you can watch probably 100 videos in 30 minutes. Yeah, because the videos are either 30 seconds or 60 seconds long. And it's and it's just that quick where they can go ahead and get these things into them. And next thing you know it, a child or a teenager is addicted to something and it's gonna take the power of God to get them delivered. So TikTok is again, the app. You wanna make sure uh, that, that you know what your kids are into. You wanna make sure that you go through those phones, sit down and talk to them. I, I, I ask my kids, hey, man, y'all into porn? Y'all into this right here? Y'all watching this? And sometimes they start out, come on, dad, come on, man. But, hey, but I got to know because the Bible says that the devil walks around seeking whom he can devour. And you're thinking your kids are in their sleep and they're on TikTok or some other type of social media app just feeding their flesh with things that's going to push them further and further away from God. And as parents, we need to be on it. So again, there are some funny things on TikTok. There, there's some entertaining things, but we just do not want to leave our children and teens alone without some type of parental guidance when it comes to these type issues. Uh, news corporations are using TikTok now. So kids don't watch TV anymore, man. They, they're getting all of their information from social media. And another thing I, I need to mention is that you also have preachers uh, on social media from various faiths. You, you got people, Islam, uh, you name it, uh, black Hebrew, Israelites, whatever. They're on there and they're preaching to these children and getting followers and messing folk up with doctrine that is contrary to God's word. So we gotta be on it. We have to be on it. Check out your child's phone, especially if you paying the bill, check it out. I would love to know your experiences, whether good or bad with TikTok. Am I telling you not to use it? No, but I'm telling you, you need to know what is going on because our kids' souls, our kids' minds, and our kids' behavior, as well as their uh, spirits are on the line. So this is just something I believe parents need to know about. Go ahead, get with your kids this week, see what's going on. And I pray that this video has been a blessing to you. And if it has, please consider sharing it with someone else. We want to keep God's people informed about what's going on. I hope to see you on my next video. God bless you.